Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade tens. It is still Mr. Tlajwa here. Welcome to Back to Basics, right? Now, what is it that we are doing now, basically, today? We are still looking at probability, and this is the question uh, for, I think this is KZN question paper that was written in the year 2023, right? So now let's look in terms of how do we then go about whenever we are answering all these questions that are given. Now let's start here. So they are saying you are having a bag containing three uh, green balls and five red balls. Now they are saying the balls are placed in a bag and one is chosen at random. They want us to determine what is the probability that the random uh, chosen ball it is going to be read, right? So this one is going to be uh, now definitely easy because we know that our sample space is going to what? It's going to be 3 plus 8, right? So which means this is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as uh, your, for the red ball, the probability of red ball, this is going to be same as your, this is same as your 5 rather over your 8. Oh, it's good. Then now, which means this is going to be the probability of what they are looking for. Now, uh, if we can move swiftly along and look at 7.2, right? Now, they are saying two events, A and B, are complementary. And also, probability of not A is 0, what? It's 0, 0.25. So now, they are saying, now, firstly, they want us to complete the statement. Now, probability of A last probability of b if the events are complementary the answer here it's going to be same as your one right complementary events they give us one oh, it's okay so which means your answer that you are going to have here it is going to be same as one now 7.2.2 uh, they want us to write down in terms of what is going to be the probability of a what is going to be the probability of A? Now, if you are looking for the probability of A, what is that you're going to do? Now, we are saying the probability of A plus the probability of A naught. It's, it gives us one, isn't it, right? So, which means then if you are looking for the probability of A, right, probability of A, it is going to be same as one, subtract the A naught, and A naught is same as 0, 0,2. Two, five. And then what is going to be there for the probability of A? The probability of A is going to be same as 0, 0,75. Are we fine, right? So that's going to be the probability of A that you are going to have in that particular question. Are we together, right? Now let's move uh, swiftly along. Now we are looking at your 7.3. Now 7.3, they are saying you are having two events. V and W, which are not mutually exclusive, right? Now, they are saying you are given the following. Then you are given the probability of uh, uh, the probability of V, the probability of W, and also the probability of V and W, right? Now, they say let the probability of A and W be equals to X. Now, they want us to draw the Venn diagram in this particular case, right? So, uh, in this case, uh, right. Uh, and then when they are saying they are not mutually exclusive, what is that they mean? Which means they are saying they are inclusive. Right. And mutually inclusive events, they have an intersection, isn't it? Right. So which means even if I want to draw this uh, sample space so that I can draw my event diagram, what is that I'm going to do now from here? Let me just uh, write in here. Right. Then this is going to be some, something like this, right? This is our line, right? Let's just do shape recognition here, right? Uh, what is that you're going to have now from here, for an example? Let's see. Uh, then now from here, this is going to be same as your circle, right? And then this other one is also going to be your circle, right? Remember, I said our circle is going to have an intersection because now... When we are speaking of events that are mutually in, uh, inclusive, we are saying they have some form of intersection in between them, right? Now, what is it that you are going to have now from here? So, probability of V and W, it is going to what? It's going to be X because that's the intersection, right? And when you are moving outside, right? So, which means, for an example, if let's say, for an example, this is V, this is W, right? 
So now what is that you are going to have now from here? So we are going to say, look, probability of, uh, you know, uh, v and uh, o w is going to be 0, 0,8. What does this mean? Which means whatever that you have here and you have here and you have here, in totality, it's going to give us 0, 0, 0,8. Oh, it's okay. So which means now if you are looking for the learners who do not do anything, or rather if you are looking for the probability of uh, neither uh, v or w, which means this is going to be 1 subtract 0, 0,8 because the sample space adds up to 1, right? Which is going to be 0, 0,2. The 0, 0,2, it is going to be the, uh, the outside thing. Oh, it's okay, right? Uh, those who are having neither your v or your w. Oh, it's okay. And then now when you're looking for your uh, v in this case, it's going to be same as 0, 0,35 subtract 1 subtract x. Oh, it's okay. And when you're looking for your w, it's going to be same as 0, 0,55 subtract your x. Oh, okay. So this is going to be the Venn diagram that you are given. And remember that the sample space here it is same as one, right? Because whenever whatever that you have here, it must add up uh to one. Oh, it's okay. Now that we have written this, right? I want us to look at what is going to be your 7.3. Point, uh, what 7.3.2 they want us to determine what is going to be the value of what probability of v uh and what and w now on that one what is it what is the best way of doing that let me just make up our space only on at this top right now let's see so now from here for an example we are going to say look now we all know that uh here you are going to have 0 0.35 subtract x plus your x this is going to be a uh, plus. This is going to be same as 0, 0.55 uh, minus x uh, is going to be same as what? It's going to be same as uh, what, right? We are left with 0, 0.2 plus 0, 0.2. It is going to be same as 1. So we are saying you add everything here. This, you add that, you are adding that, and also that one. And you know that the sample space that you're having here, it must give us what? Oh, it's again. And now that you're having the... What is it that you are going to do now from here? Let's see. So you are going to say 0, 0.35 plus 0, uh, 0.55 plus 0, 0.2. What is that you are getting here? 0, 0.35, 0, 0.35 plus 0, 0.55 plus 0, uh, 0.2, right? Then this is going to be same as 1,1, 1, isn't it, right? So which means here, firstly, these x and this x are going to cancel each other, right? So which means we are only left with this negative x. So which means this is same as 1, comma one subtract x is equals to what is equals to one then what is that you can do you can take the x that side and then transpose the one this side right which means your x is same as one comma one subtract one which means the value of your x is same as zero comma one if i'm not mistaken but okay so that's what basically you are going to have as the value of your x but okay now if now, if you look swiftly along now, look at your 7.3.3. Uh, now, they are looking for the probability of not V O W, right? Probability of uh, not V uh, O W. It's not V O W. What is this going to be, right? What is the probability of not V? Now, so in this case, what is that you are going to have? Uh, let's say for an example. Now, we are going to have, uh, when you are saying not V, right? So what is going to be a probability of not V? Can you see that this is going to be same as what? This is going to be same as this intersection, right? Plus what you are going to have here, plus going, what you are going to have here. Oh, it's okay. Right? Now that's what you are basically going to have in there, right? To find out what is the, going to be a probability of not V or W. Oh, it's okay. Which means now, for an example, if you can come back, firstly, start by writing our answers here. What is that you're going to have here? We said our x is 0, 0,1, which means here, what is that you're going to have here? Let's say this is 0, 0,55 subtract 0, 0, 0,1. This is going to be 0, 0,54. Oh, it's okay. And then now here, what is it then that you're going to have uh, from here? This is going to be uh, 0, what? Look, 0, yes, 0, 0,55. 0, 0,55 subtract 0, 0,1. What is that you're getting? It's 0, 0,55. Why am I saying 0, uh, 0,54? This is going to be 0, 0,45, right? 
this is 0, 0.45. And then when you are saying, let's say for an example, you're saying 0, 0.35, 0, 0.35 subtract 0, 0.1. What you're getting there, this is same as 0, 0.25 here, right? 0, 0.25. So which means here, what is that you're going to take? Now here you're going to take firstly the 0, 0.1 plus the 0, 0.45 plus the what? Plus the 0, 0.2. I want to get the 0, 0,2 is this one because this is the probability of not V, right? Or W, which means now it's everything else except this one. Oh, it's again. So that's what basically you are going to have here. So which means it's going to be 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,45 plus 0, 0,2. And when you're adding all of this, this is going to be same as 0, 0,75. Oh, it's again. So basically that's what we are going to have in them, right? Now, if let's say for, for an example now, can you see now that they've changed, right? Instead of saying not V or W, right? Which is the one that we excluded in this case. So they want us to exclude everything else here now, which means now the probability of V and not W. What is the probability of V and not W, right? The W, what is the W, right? The probability of W is everything that you find in here. Oh, it's okay. So which means now the probability here, the probability of V and not W uh, is actually going to be same as what? This is same as 0, comma, uh, I think this is same as 0, comma, 0.25. That's all. Oh, it's okay. That's going to be just 0, comma, 0.25 because they're just looking for V only. Probability of not W is still the same as probability of V only. Oh, it's okay. I'm hoping that all of this makes sense and you're in a position to answer all these types of questions. Thank you very much for listening.